Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You're here with me, Charlie Rowlands, and today we're going to be trying to do, to do something a little bit different. So let's roll it back. Let me give some context without diving into it too deep like I usually ramble on for. But a couple of weeks ago, I bought a Oculus Quest 2 headset, and honestly, it's one of the most fascinating, amazing things that I've probably ever used. <coughs> And something that I tried to do and start, but I kind of left it because I wanted to make a video on it, was, do you think I could edit a video, an entire video, in this thing? So, I'm not doing that because it's going to be boring to watch, but today I'm going to task myself onto doing an edit, and that's uh, uh, compiling the footage, adding transitions, and exporting all from inside this Oculus Rift 2 headset. So, um, I usually talk too much. I'm not going to today because um, I don't know why, but let's just jump into it. And it wasn't up till this point when young Charlie didn't realise that his camera focused on the microphone for the entire recording. Alright, so, can, can we sit? Can I even see? Okay, yeah. So, here we are. We have my my ultra-wide screen, and, and now, am I even looking the right way? If I, oh, I need to face the bloody, okay. It's probably actually better if I do this, isn't it? I'm advancing to the next level. I was facing the wrong way, and I didn't realize it the entire time, because, funnily enough, I can't see shit. So, okay, here we go. I've got three clips um, over in here. Um, I've got three clips that I need to drag and drop into our sequence. That's probably the easiest part to really do yet, isn't it? Uh, let's be let's be totally honest here. So, okay, if I'm gonna drag that, oh, that's the microphone. I've just smacked that. This is already a crazy challenge. This is damn Daniel. Uh, there we go. Um, this is we're on a an absolute. We're steaming ahead. We're steaming ahead. Um, I don't know how to right click. Can we right click? Can we can we right click? Because I want to unmatch the audio. Oh, show cube. I forgot about this bit. <laughs> I'm winning, I'm winning. Uh, all right, so let's drag and drop our three clips onto our sequence right here. Uh, I'll just leave them be there. All right, so we've got our three clips. Um, we, we've we've got a clip of a bloke. Uh, what's this bloke doing? He's ah, right, he's a photographer. That's what he is. And then this is a, a cool boombox uh, with the dancing, and here's some bloke dancing. Right, so all we're going to do is just do a simple effect, a simple transition between the three of them. That's the basic challenge that I'm put, giving myself. Okay, so let's uh, let's first, let's decide the point that we want to cut this, this segment, because it's quite a long clip. I'm going to scrub, and I'm just going to, to be honest, put a random cut, I think, here. We'll use this bit here, this movement, to do our transition. So I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut of C, cut there, and then go back to V. Oh my god, good thing I know my shortcuts. And then, boom, look at that. That was so easy. I actually quite enjoyed that, I'm gonna lie. So I click that gap in between, and then we'll whack delete. There we go, we've brought our two clips together. And then we've got a bit of movement here between these. The next thing I've gotta do is add an adjustment layer. And it's as simple as trying to click this. Oh, bloody up, wrong one. That's it. Adjustment layer. Keep the things. Boom. Look at that. All right, so I've got my adjustment layer. I'm going to whack that over the top right there. Okay, that's fine. You know, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to zoom in just to get a better idea. Of oh. I could be absolute cheeky as hell and just straight up and go and use the presets available on charlierodens.com. Drag and drop that onto an adjustment layer and watch this. Let's have a go. But look at that. I've got to admit. That is pretty darn good. But, okay, I get it. Maybe we'll add a rule in there. You're not allowed to use presets. Okay, now this is gonna be an actual ball ache. Billy, oh, this is gonna take so long. Okay, we're gonna do a spin transition. So we just go to offset. Offset, out of the distort bit. Oh, so I just need to shift center. Yeah, there we go. Can I? Drag, will that drag? Ah, yeah. Oh, God, that's cool. That's really cool. Okay, I think, I think, I'm not gonna lie, I think I've gone a little bit too far. So, one of the advantages of actually doing this is I can just grab my screen, get it in real close. I think I've gone a bit too far and over, haven't I? To be totally honest, it's gone from 960 all the way down uh, around to 
31,000? Okay, I can't actually see what I wrote there. Okay, 5,000, how does that leave us? That leaves us right there, that's a pretty good standing point. Oh, no, damn it, where have we gone? Oh, I've gone even further back. Okay, uh... Damn it, Come on. that was the easiest thing I've ever done. Hit that space bar, cool. Cool. No, it's not really cool. It's awful, isn't it? I'm gonna drag a box. If I just click and drag, oosh. Okay, how do I right click now? I forgot about this. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, all right. No panic, no panic. We've got this. What's this? Charlie Rodens has, oh, poo. He's drowsy. That work? I honestly, I, d I don't even know if this is going to be a good video. It's it's confusing me at this point. I don't even know if you can see what I'm actually doing. I hope you can. That'd be good. I don't know if I can, you can even hear me. Uh, where's my, ah, there's my microphone. All right, so I'm just going to whiz through these next couple of things to see if we can actually make them happen. I might not do three because this is taking me forever. Uh, so I hope you understand. I'm going to do it. Uh, where are you? There you go. I don't know about you guys, but I find that I'm really impatient. And so, how tiny it's the small bits. I feel like I have to aim. There we go. That's much better. Oh, no. Do what I never do. And that's just use a auto bazaar. Do be proud. Okay, it's a bit rigid at the start. I've, I, I, I've got to say, I'm pleased so far, but I noticed here. Oh, Jesus. I'm clicking it. I'm giving us a bit more motion to it. There we go, that's pretty cool. You know, that would work, that would work already. I think that'd be pretty good already. Uh, so I just need to duplicate that. So I can add a brightness layer to that to make that more kind of uh, And then I could also add a bit of lens distortion to give it that, that lens uh, blooming thing. But you know, we haven't got it all day. We just, it's first thing in. I'll chuck myself out the window if I do too much. So we've got our first clip there. Um, I think we can save All right, so I've, I've marked out my clip there, and then I'm gonna do, can we do Control M? Just do a quick, boom, ho, oh, boom. Okay, that's pretty cool, I like that. Right, so we're opening up the media encoder. This is probably the easiest part. Don't even need to probably film this one, but I'm just making sure that we can do everything through it, because it is pretty damn cool. Like, you know how those scammers uh, use TeamSpeak? Oh dear, oh dear. Okay, that sent my life into into uh, into hell then. And would you look at that? We edited that video right there, right there, within Oculus Rift. I think that's pretty damn cool. But ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I know it wasn't kind of exactly how I wanted to make it, but um, it's a kind of tip it into something that we could do uh, in the future. So ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed today's episode, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Make sure to subscribe, stick around the channel for more. All that flabby babby, bobbity bobby. Um, and thank you for watching and I'll see you uh, in the uh, next one. Yeah, what about that? <laughs>